So, welcome to the start of a new tutorial series, this time covering uh, scale model aircraft. For this set of videos, I've chosen the Tamiya uh, Gloucester Meteor F1 and V1 combo kit in 148th scale. Uh, I picked this kit because it looked, after looking over the contents, it seemed like a really good kit to do a tutorial on since it's fairly simple and straightforward to build, plus um, does allow for a lot of different techniques to be shown off. So, just open it up. Um, one thing you will notice uh, in comparison to the previous kit I had picked out for the last set of videos is that when you're dealing with obviously more complicated and more advanced subjects, there undoubtedly are going to be a lot more parts. Um, not only that, there are a lot more small parts. So that's one of the things you'll have to undoubtedly deal with when you're uh, building more, more complicated, more uh, detailed subject matters. Um, I also picked this kit because it has some neat option, such as having the um, panels for the engines removed or you can choose to do them with a set of clear parts in so um, I also uh, picked this because obviously like most advanced subjects oh, I'm to have a set of water slide decals to work with so uh, I picked to do this also because obviously so can go off um, process by which you go about Prepping the model for um, decaling, applying decals, and all that. The last reason I picked this kit was because of the uh, camouflage pattern, the finished markings. Um, doing uh, camouflage can be difficult, but there are tips and techniques to do it. I mean, Obviously, there's an the option to do it freehand, which if you can do it and do it well, I mean, power to you. You are, you're really good with an airbrush. But um, yeah, I picked this so I can show off how good ways of doing um, a camouflage pattern. So uh, with that, I guess we can pretty much get right into it then. So I've now gone ahead and finished cleaning the parts so that we're now ready to begin. Now, before starting, I have to very much emphasize this. First and foremost, you want to read through the instructions. You want to know them, you want to see how stuff goes together, and be prepared accordingly. Um, another thing you need to do, or at the very least should do, you don't have to do it, but it's best if you do, is check your for references since we're building a real life aircraft here there are photos of the real thing out there on the internet and in books so you want to you know do your research first before start going as just because one thing says and the instruction says to do something doesn't mean it's necessarily on the aircraft or on particular one you're trying to build uh, case in point uh, one of the paint callouts actually on the first part here, right here in the nose section. Um, it says it's one thing, but based on some of my researching, it's actually another. So, like I said, that's one of the things to be careful of when you're building um, real-life subject matters. So, so anyway, uh, one thing to note about this kit is, it's actually a little odd, is that Unlike most aircraft kits, um, it actually doesn't start in the cockpit. Instead, it has you start by actually trimming out the two fuselage halves and putting those together right off the bat, which is interesting to say the least. So that's where we're going to start. Now, like I previously stated in my first set of videos, when you're trimming parts off the tree, you want to trim back a little ways from the actual part. 
even more so if you don't have a flat set of clippers, but you're just gonna get in there and basically just try and trim it clean and easy. Now, I won't worry too much at this point about being neat since we're gonna do some trimming up and fixing up later. Um, one thing to also note, since we're going to be gluing these fuselage halves together, I'm not going to go ahead and sand up the uh, little nubs right off the bat, since those are going to get sanded down when I uh, sand down the um, glue seam. So. Again, now that we got this thing clear, you're just going to want to take an X-Acto knife and just run it lightly over the what's left of the nub to get rid of it, or at least get rid of most of it to come back for sanding. You just want to be fairly gentle, you're just trying to get the bulk of it gone. Okay. And I won't worry too much if it's the little nubs are being difficult. As I said, we're just trying to get the bulk of it knocked off. So that we'll have an easier time later when we come back to sand it. Alright. Let's see how we're doing for time. Oh, we're still going good, so I'll just go ahead and do this one. Now, after this... I'm going to take and prime these parts up in preparation for getting that nose section painted. I'm also going to do two other side pieces that are supposed to go on here as well at the same time. Just to save a little time and paint. And let's see, I've still got a little bit of time left. So, yeah, I think I'll, that'll be. What we'll do for next video is uh, priming again, just to reiterate from the first series. And so yeah, uh, got those first parts out, and we're on our way to building an aircraft. So uh, next video we'll prime up the nose section, and more than likely also uh, get in uh, just some basic painting. So till then.